If you're working remotely and depending on a VPN, there's one feature that can literally make or break your career, the kill switch. Without it, your real location is exposed the second your VPN connection drops. And here's the kicker, in the latest GL iNet firmware update 4.8, that kill switch is broken. Normally that kill switch acts like a traffic cop. If the VPN tunnel goes down, it blocks all internet traffic until the tunnel is restored, keeping you safe. In the older versions of the GLINet firmware, it's called Block Non VPN Traffic. In the new 4.8 update, they renamed it to the Kill Switch and added some new features. But those new features created a hidden problem. But here's the problem most remote workers use a global policy before. Everything runs through the VPN, and if it drops, traffic is simply cut off through the router. Simple, but in 4.8, GLINet added support for multiple VPN clients at the same time. It's a great idea, but if you've upgraded, your settings might look like they're fine, but in reality, the kill switch isn't working. So here's a quick test that you can do to check and see if your kill switch is working in under 60 seconds. First, log into your router and make sure the VPN is connected. Then on your computer, if you're in a Windows device, type in command.cxe at the search bar, or if you're on a Mac, type in terminal. Once you're there at a terminal window or command prompt, Type in ping space cnn.com. You'll see a list of replies from cnn.com that lets you know your VPN is up and running. Now, disable the VPN on your dashboard and see if the ping stop. If the ping stop responding, then your kill switch is working. If they keep going, your kill switch is broke. So here's the quick fix. First thing, don't waste any time trying to downgrade to a previous version. I tried rolling back to 4.7.3 and it broke DNS, so it created another problem. Upgrading to 4.82 fixed the DNS issue, but again, the kill switch did not work. So the real fix is to change your VPN policy from global mode to policy-based mode. Once you've done that, scroll down to the bottom of the screen and turn off the all other traffic option. So where it says all other traffic, switch that to off. That setting, all other traffic being on, is the hidden setting in global mode that you can't turn on or off without switching it to policy. I always test new firmware versions before rolling them out to my clients so they don't run into these types of issues. If you wanna stay ahead of VPN problems, check out the link in the description below. I've got resources, services, and my VPN Essentials newsletter to keep you covered. Until next time, Mexican Plans Monty, move.